Mic test, mic test. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Buddy Bison stream. I hope we're all having a wonderful day today because I most certainly am. We are going to be playing some more Xenoblade Chronicles 1 Definitive Edition today. So I hope we are all looking forward to that. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, so hopefully the game is loud enough. Um, I feel like it's, it's weird, like the... Like, I feel like I have to put my personal headphones up, like, pretty decently far, but it seems like the, you know, it seems like the audio levels in uh, OBS seem fine, um, so I'm not sure how that works and all that jazz. Um, but yeah, so we need to do uh, a couple things. So last time on stream, we uh, did all the stuff here. Uh, with Melia and her family and all that fun jazz, uh, our our bo our giant guy like came out of uh, imprisonment and immediately got tagged. Poor guy. Um, oh well, that's not any of our concern now. Um, what is our concern is going and trying to I guess get back Fiora. Uh, she seems to be. Uh, part robo now and is a uh and is amnesiac so you know as our plucky JRP, pr jrpg protagonists are wanted to, to want to do 
it is our duty to chase after her, make her remember us, and, uh, you know, live happily ever after. And by happily ever after, I mean, I will know what the hell's going on with these two titans. Oh yeah, and Alvis is also here. We will need to traverse Sword Valley if we wish to reach Galahad Fortress. Oh yeah, Sword Valley. I wonder where that valley is located. Is it on the sword? If Colony 6 were in better shape, we could have taken a pod from there. How are we getting there? We will take the path down from the Bionis right arm. Bionis right arm. Sword Valley is where the arm meets the Mekonis sword. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's our route. Okay. That's our route. Easy enough. Hey, Renya, how's it going? Glad to see you. As I said earlier, it is a snow-covered mountain range, and you should expect a tough climb. Okay, yeah, sounds good. So we're gonna have every single person with midriff showing, shoulder, no, no sleeves, nothing. <laughs> Shulk and Dunman, the only people that look actually ready. Doing fine? Nice. Uh, how's your week been? Because it is a Friday now. My Luckily, my week was pretty easy. Like, I was just at the training. Today was a half day, honestly, because the, once the training was done, I, uh, we just took a test. And uh, I freaking blitzed through that 60 multiple choice questions. Easy peasy. It was fantastic. And I got a freaking turkey club for my, like, my lunch to go, which was it was a pretty darn good turkey club. Like, I'll, I'll give it that. Uh, nice. Glad that you're doing well. I said earlier, Snooko, yeah. Are we all ready? Ready as we'll ever be. Yeah, well, you could you could go get a jacket, Ryan. Quite. <laughs> gonna, gonna tell you that. First, we will head through Machna Forest. This short-range pod will be our transport. All aboard, people. All aboard. I'm British. Come on. Chip, chip, cheerio. Get on the pod. Uh... Yeah, okay, so, easy enough. So, what I do have over on this side of the screen, because I was curious as to where, um, uh, where all the various art books were going to be, because, obviously, being able to level up my skills is going to be, uh, imperative to be able to, um, you know, progress in the game, probably, because things are likely to get quite difficult. So, I have looked up where to get the uh, arts manuals, and so I want to take a uh, quick hot second um, and go get some of them, uh, if I possibly can. So, Connie 9... Um, I think the commercial district would probably be our best chance because it seems, uh, apparently that most of the intermediate art books, uh, which is the second level ones, are just bought in shops, which I didn't know. <laughs> I was expecting them to be, uh, you know, like, things you found out in the world or, I don't know, like... <laughs> like a quest reward, not just, oh yeah, it's just a shop. Uh, this in here, but, oh yeah, the gym, look at your face, bewitch by wonder, make a gun, got a chain store, fix the furniture, want rubber, don't need to pay me, your friends, use as much as you like. Cool. How create an ether gem. First, select the material to put into the furnace. Only ether crystals of the same rank can be put into the furnace at the same time. The act of refining ether crystals into gems is called crafting. When the strength of a certain quality exceeds 100%, an ether gem with that quality will be performed. Put the same type of crystals into the furnace together. Put crystals in matching qualities into the furnace so that the total strength of the quality you are aiming for exceeds 100. When the strength of a quality exceeds 100 or you have already put in eight crystals, you cannot add any more crystals. Press A to confirm the crystals. Uh, select party members to craft with. Uh, crafting is carried out by two party members, the shooter and the engineer. Once selected, the abilities of each party member will be shown. The pair's affinity will determine how many times they can craft. Uh, use the pair's affinity. Okay, use left and right to hide a party member, then press A to select them. Party member abilities one, shooter. The shooter will shoot several times during crafting. Uh, each time you craft, the abilities of your party members will kick in. The results will depend on the ability of the two party members. Shulk Shooter barely more likely to enter a fever state while crafting. Range of Shooter really crafting with a strong flame will increase the quality. 
The engineer ability changes the balance of the flame strength. Strong flame greatly increases the strength of one quality. Medium flame slightly increases the strength of all qualities. Gentle flame fills the cylinder gauge. Um, okay, interesting. Receiving gems and cylinders. Qualities which exceed a strength of 100% during crafting will become either gems. Quality. Okay. Qualities that do not exceed 100% can become cylinders. One quality for each time you have filled the cylinder gauge. Quality. Cylinders can be used again in gem crafting just like crystals. Okay. Interesting. Um, I'm not going to do any of this right now. Uh... I just wanted to see what the hell this guy was going to talk about. Creatures dropping crystals in either by us somehow, and they give it deposits. Either crystals low power, don't look too excited. So yeah, whatever, man. Uh, I'm just looking for shops, bro. Um, it's also night. Hey, 50 Mirror, how's it going, my man? Um, okay, yeah, you know, it's nighttime, so chances are that is the issue. If I want it to be daytime, well, if I want to shop, I should probably be ta daytime. <laughs> Um, I would imagine. I would think. I would hope. Um, grabbing. Yeah, I know. Where's. Where are the shops? But isn't there a symbol for shops? Yeah, there's something every time, but it's good. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Like, no, no question. It, without that, I can't imagine quest would even be slightly manageable in a fun way. I need to take my best with drug. He's a good, sweet boy. Glad everything worked out. Nice one. Well, let's keep up the good work. Of course, nothing can stop us once we get going. Very much like Joe to win. Don't even know what this quest was. But hey, we got 30 XP and some swimming sandals. Fuck it. Um. Ether lamps. Those lamps. Okay, so is this not a. Like, is this not the shop? Where's the flippin' shops, man? Are the shops down in that southern area? This is the commercial district that usually means... Fucking... <laughs> that, that usually means we sell things here. Um... Like, I'm looking... Because I would like to buy the, uh... The arts books for some people, and the arts manuals. But you know, the annoying thing is, hey, guess what? The the guide that I'm looking at or whatever, it literally just says Colony Nine. It doesn't tell you where in Colony Nine. It just says Colony Nine. That would be reasonable if, you know, the uh, there was only one shop in Qual in Colony Nine, but it doesn't really indicate any shop. Sure. So I guess what I'll do is I'll just can wander around. <laughs> like they put some stuff on the. Who goes here? Eh, whatever. Not picking up any new quests because I don't feel the need to inundate my quest log with even more. But I mean, we got we can finish these ones, right? Like they're there. How far are you in the game? Um, we just finished all the stuff on Prison Island. Um, so I'm that far. Okay, what? What is the... Like, what, what is... Can I, can I get the legend? What is it? Landmark secret area. Is there not, like, a store? Like, what the fuck is this? Is that store? Shop. Yeah, that's shop. Okay. There we go. Shop. You. Okay. I don't know how I missed you so much. Um, do not need those. Okay, cool. So, this is probably where I'm going to be using quite a bit of my uh, money. Because I am just buying in every every single one that I can get. Um, <laughs> that was quick. I mean, I mean, I've been playing this game. I mean, how many how many hours do I got on the save file? Um, save. Nope. Got twenty two hours on this save file. So I mean, like, 
<laughs> feel like I've, I don't feel like it's necessarily all that quick. It's like this game's taking a while. Okay, so nine. nine. Um. So I see that some of them say Kana Frontier Village, Bionis's leg. Is there a town on Bionis's? No, oh, there's a shop right there. Uh, any other shop? There's a shop right over there as well. So we'll start at this one. <sighs> yeah, the uh, the game is really punishing me for not having uh, having gone to the shops because I didn't think I needed to go to the shops. I well, not didn't think I needed to go. Like, you obviously don't need to go, but uh, I didn't think there would be anything of value. Little did I know that they sell books. Some of them sell books. Okay, so this is one that does not sell books. You are worthless to me. I wish I could kill you. What? No, I don't wish that. I would never wish that upon someone. Okay, refugee camp. A refugee camp, as it were. Well. Shop by... Hey, I saved you guys' life. You should, you should just give me the stuff. It's kind of bullshit that they can... That they can sell you multiple of the manuals when it's like a one-use item. It's kind of ass <laughs> when you think about it. Um, uh, when did I start Xenoblade 1 again? A um, couple weeks ago, I think? Maybe? I think this is like stream 5 or 6 or something. Not sure. I have to check. Uh, heal bonus. HP or C from healing arts. We'll take that. And HP recovery. Strength reviving. Agility up buff. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, do 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 do. Bleedy D. New arts have allowed you to attain new levels. Good. 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 Okay. So I need to be careful as well, because I don't have unlimited money, I just have a lot of it. Um, I suppose you stream long on me, it helps you get there. I mean, that's also true. And I'm also, I don't want to say beelining it, but I am, I'm not necessarily doing a whole bunch of side stuff. Uh, I'm going to, uh, like, I'm going to different places. Oh, yeah, I guess I just haven't, I <laughs> haven't really been to Colony 6, huh? It was just kind of, it was like, hey, you can go back there for a really long quest chain. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Never really went back after doing it. Um, right? Because it's like, hey, you can remember? Yeah. Kind of freed the place. I imagine they set it all up again. But yeah, like, it's been like, oh, yeah, I get the side quests. Um,. And if I just so happen to, like, come across enemies because I need to kill them or um, anything else, it's like, oh, yeah, no, sure, I'll do it. But it's not like I'm picking up a quest and going out of my way to complete said quests. Which probably uh, assists in the, uh, in the speed at which I have been able to progress through the game. Additionally, I have... Uh, prioritized keeping the speed up bonuses on Shulk, so movement-wise, he is faster than, uh... Me? He is faster than some others. Okay, so Mono Blast... Um... I mean, it's better to have them all, but I mean, I'm using a lot of my money now. I don't know if I find the names they give Sonic Collector. Oh, yeah, no. Like, the, na the names are great because it's also, like, they even say, it's like, oh, yeah, the, the characters are the ones naming them. So it's, it's very funny. Um, okay, let's just do regular. Um, let's sell the low-cost ones. Because the low-cost ones are the ones that we know we're not really going to be using. Um, let's also go unique. Um, uh, let's be real, probably not going to use that. Um, whatever. All, yeah, 
not gonna use that or that or that or that or that. Yeah, basically anything less than a thousand sale price, I'm not 100% sure. Or I'm 100% sure I'm not gonna be using it. Um, uh, like the one, ha ha ha, exactly, right? It's just like, oh yeah, you know. <laughs> He, uh, Ricky, Ricky was, Ricky thought it was funny, so he, he named it while laughing. It's simple. Okay, you know what, anything, anything that I don't have equipped, I feel like I'm quasi-comfortable. Um, yeah. Uh, because if, you know, if it were better than something I had, chances are I would be using it right now, right? And if not, oh well. Um, got multiple warrior nashers, Saint Rod. Yeah. Um, mostly because I just want to uh, want to empty out my inventory a bit, and also I just got so much stuff. Oh, wait, yeah, no, it goes downwards. There we go. I forgot. <laughs> forgot how it worked. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, that's an equipped one. Fool. Um, okay. Well, if we keep on rolling, yep. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do all... Okay, that's probably fine. Remove... Ember Plate Spike 2, maybe. God, the general's attire. Don't know why. Oh, yeah, the reason why I'm not wearing it is because it's just kind of. Alright. Um, yeah. Oh. All. Okay. Good. Give me plenty of monies. Oh, blame Rex and Shulk for not remaking the world crack. <laughs> uh, I don't blame anyone, but how are you doing today, sleeper? Uh, I just thought it was nice to use Peekaboo move to finish an enemy. I, I, see, I haven't actually used Riki in combat yet, because I've just been... Um, I've just been like, oh yeah, I like everyone else right now. Haven't really felt the uh, need or desire to put him in. Probably should at some point. All equip gems have been removed. Okay, so there were some equipped ones in there, so at least they know to remove them. Um, okay, and that's that. Don't want to get rid of crystals. Then we got collectibles, which I guess I could do that. I don't know, like, our <laughs> materials seem to be weird because, like, there's ones where it's like, oh, yeah, like, you can hand them in for quests and stuff, but then it's also like, yo, there's so much money here. <laughs> it's like, if I needed it, I could sell those. Um, and also, like, do I need the, like, it's like, right, like, do I need to go into the arts things? But yeah, okay. You do need to go in, or else it doesn't get used. <laughs> you could sell them. Uh, uh, Riggy's the goat. I mean, it says fun. Have buff. Have no mad damage. Not using like not using greens. <laughs> I mean that's true. I mean at some point I'll use everyone, but right now I'm just trying to. I don't know. I like having Ryan because he's just a, a good tank. And having Melia for uh, ether damage is good. Uh, at least, I think. For an eternity, good. We'll finish out Connie 6, ether defense up. Good. Warrior plate, no idea if that's going to be good in comparison to anything. Uh, okay, you there. Nothing new there, nothing new there, nothing new there, nothing new there. Okay. So we've got everything there. Don't care. Uh, uh, you know what? Let's at least... <laughs> As I said, haven't been to this colony in a while. Haven't even started up the... Kept some of the stuff that drops from the elemental enemies. Okay. See, I just figured I was going to have to use that elemental stuff 
eventually in like gem crafting, which is why I didn't want to sell it. Yeah. Oh, good. My jump is just high enough to get over a small wooden fence. Okay, what's going on here? Heart to heart, don't have the person. It's like I'm missing literally one character. You can't be telling me all these heart to hearts are between those one character in my existing party. Like I'm finding so few of the people that are already here. Okay. Main entrance. Oh, so is this supposed to be the colony here? Presumably. Othron, how's it going, man? Well, our big colony six. Do that. We need to move everyone back on the camera. We're gonna go to a friend. We're gonna go across it. It doesn't sound good. We must do something to help. Bridge is the only way to move to refugees back safely with them stuck on one side. We're all can eliminate monsters. Fuck it. Uh, so I'll just put just the regular stuff you can sell. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. I knew you would. Just secure the bridge. Once you have that informed you do at the camp, I'll be waiting here. Building colony when everyone is returned. Cool. No problem. Leave it to me. Yes, yeah, so let's aim to resolve this matter quickly. Okay, you said, so they said somewhere on this fucking, what bridge, what bridge are they talking about? They said some bridge. Is the bridge here? Something else? No? Great road? What bridge? No idea. Funny. Uh, they sell for a good bit of money. Ah, okay. Uh, F it. Let's go. Where was that one we just got? Uh, I should only have one colony. Yeah, see, like, this is why I didn't want to pick up literally every single quest, because it's already, um, so much. Okay, what one are you? Road home. Say safe, safe vantage, proof status. Turn to Daza. Oh, yeah, I can just get a break too. Uh, let's set that as active. Okay, yeah, cool. Um, so where fuck is... Okay, it's on the bio, it says leg. Not gonna... Oh, the bridge? Bridge. There we go. I guess I'll make an exception. I'll do this one... Dude, I'll do this one thing without it, without it, but also, let's come over here, because he's got a whole bunch. <laughs> he's got a whole bunch of stuff right now. Um, so let's level up his, his stuff. Um, Gage, you're no berserker. Um, hammer beat, yeah, sure. That's a good one. War swing. Nope, can't boost that. Sword drive wild down. Let's do that. Good. Saved up all that AP for good reason. Um, you got a whole bunch, but you know what? You can. I don't feel like spending money right now. Okay. Hello there. Die. Oh, you guys are level 30. Oh, wait, no, I'm level 41. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, you're so strong. Fucking lol. Uh, when, you, when you forget how actually strong you are. It's like, oh, yeah, I was supposed to come, come over here and do this quest a while ago. It's like... It's like comically overpowered right now. Yeah. Damn it, missed. Shulk! Bam. Good. I'm surprised that Hawks isn't just throwing himself off the bridge seeing what we just did to his friends. They're giving me a whole bunch of stuff that I'm like, ooh, kind of wish I could just immediately sell it right now. Boink. <laughs> I did one backslash and he just, he just died. Oh, okay. Wait. Wait, did more, wait. Defeat the additional monster that appeared to me. Okay, okay is, 
Is this the is this the deal where it's like I keep thinking I'm done, but then <laughs> friend I love you platonically unless you don't want to be you're my best bro uh, dude we, we stand a good show crying romance I'd take it <laughs> behind every great man is a massive just brick-headed idiot <laughs> that we all love Um, steps dated. Cool. Report back to the Jude Meister. Come on. Picking these up because it's money, effectively. But, yeah. Wink. Pion stone. Pion. Pion. Okay. Wait. Where's Juju? Oh, oh, over at the refugee camp. <laughs> I, forgot, I forgot that was the entire point because we were kind of. Uh, oh, god damn it! Son of a bitch! I didn't want to walk into the. Didn't want to walk into this. I feel like it's kind of dumb to have this like just be something that you walk into and not something you have to actively choose to interact with. Like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna put you in a loading screen and take you away and teleport you without your explicit permission. Just because you walked into something. Right. Hey, Juju. Got rid of all the monsters that recovered, now we can go back home. Thank you so much. Going back to Colony 6 will solve all the problems we had here. Once we leave, we won't be come back here. Shall we go now? We can wait for you if there's still things you need to do. Let's go. Okay, we'll move out right away. We need some help to rebuild Colony 6 when we get there. That's fine. Oh, yeah, because I already bought everything from the shop, and presumably the shop would still have it. Quest completed. Oh, yeah, XP up, AP up. Oh, ooh, those could be good gems. Those could be good gems. Why does the Monado not have any gems in it? To get boosted, increase AP after defeating enemy plus five, XP after defeating... I mean, might as well. Don't know what gems I previously had in it. Um, uh, I think I had auto attack stealth, killing aggro from auto attacks, but I don't really use auto attacks all that much, honestly. Um, I think I should be fine with just back attack up. Um, but yeah, more AP, more XP for the Shulkmeister. We'll take that. Could use some more quick steps. I would like, <laughs> I would like quick quick step six on all all my slots. Please. Uh, that would be much appreciated. Uh, okay. So. Do I start, like, a new quest here? Or something? Time to rebuild kind, but we put on such everything. I try to build from scratch. Gonna need to help. How about it? Be on the materials, collectibles, and money. Just come and see me whenever you're free to help out. Don't worry about that. I'm left you try to reconstruction. I mean, Colony 6 is a more exciting place to be. Housing increases the population, lets you invite more people. Commerce makes new shops. Nature lets you obtain higher rank crystals from the mine. Special greatly increases the overall completion percentage. Also lets you obtain more collectibles. Check Colony 6 progress using the quest log. Uh, this is for your information. Everyone will not contribute to rebuilding itself. All right. Okay. Uh, reconstruction. Uh, steel, silk. I mean, I got stuff, so... Oh, but it also takes money. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll increase the commerce, because that's new shop, which might sell me things. That, uh... Well, I mean, obviously gonna sell me things. Um, but it might be able to sell, um... Me art books. Which I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm gonna increase by one. Three new shops have been built. New shop is available in Colony 6. Okay, so... Let's come over here. Sell me stuff, bitch. Yes. Bye. Bon okay. Well. Shield bash. We'll take that. 
So two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. Yeah, all the things that I got from those low-level quests and a bunch of other some such some some such. There we go. Got the words out. I swear I did. Okay. Hurts. There we go. Shield bash. Not a big deal if I had shield bash, I don't think. But better to have it than uh, not. Ooh, it's also days. The main thing I, I look at when I'm increasing it is like, yo, how much does it lower the cooldown? <laughs> because I want my people popping their skills a lot. Like, quite frequently. Uh, and if I can increase that, then that would be the best. Okay, boss's leg, I already bought the things there. Ether my okay, so... Uh, let me see, everybody. Just been super busy looking at the moment. No problem. Thanks, Dex, for dropping by. Um, okay, so let's go to Frontier Village, where, um, is it, uh, that's the shop, or at least one of the shops. I don't know if there are multiple shops here. Hope you're doing well, Dex. I hope you're doing well, 50 Mirror as well, and Sleeper. Hope everyone's doing fantastic on this lovely Friday and or Saturday, depending on where you are on the planet Earth. Bye. Uh, ZR, Bitey, okay, so we got a whole bunch of Ricky, uh, ones, which I mean, I guess is a good thing for whenever I get around to using him, but I was hoping to buy, um, some Romelia, which is likely in her town. Uh, nope. Oh, there's a Okay, so there's multiple shops, but I think that one's specifically a weapon shop. Yeah, if I remember right. So let's go up one level. There should be. Yeah. Uh, which makes me wonder why Dunban's arts weren't in Colony 9. Um, but we'll figure that out. Do 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 that shaker edge which he's likely to use covert stance is a good one for her head shaker i don't know battle soul want all the shulks to be able to go up or a bullet serene heart tempest kick nah, heat hazed i mean i want to buy all of them anyway but that's a lot of money that i need um it's a lot of money um, um, very tempted to sell the, uh, see, I, yeah, quest items, I wish I could sell every, like, why does it have to be quest items? Yes. Can it be quest items? No, please. Um. Yeah. Okay. More. Oh, okay, does it auto-stop at... Oh, that's actually really nice. Okay, so it does have... Ins okay, that that is useful. They knew. They knew. Yeah. 
Because it's like, so long as I've already put it in my Collectopedia, I guess I don't care. Um, because it's like, hey, I might get a quest to, you know, give them a thing, but frankly, <laughs> for my purposes, I don't give a shit. Um... Now, the question is, would they have set um, the Connie 6 rebuilding as a quest thing for the items, or can you just sell those? Um, okay, also, let's... Well, actually, no. No, 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 no. What I want to do, because I don't trust this game, because it lets you buy multiple of these books. Um, I do not want to go use the books by going into the arts menu. Because that will um, remove them, I think, from the inventory, which will make it more difficult to tell which ones I don't need to buy again. But now I bought them all. Okay. Bought them all. Good. That's, that's what I like to see. Level up. Can't really level any of them up, but that's perfectly fine. Got the entire rest of the game to get AP. Um, okay, so now it's time. So let's go to Alchemoth. Uh, ZR. Okay, so that's where the shop was. The star means you bought the book needed for the current level of set. Probably, but you know, it's also just. It's also better to not trust the game. And try to work around it. Because what, what, what if, like, I would trust the game more if you were not able to buy multiple of a book. <laughs> like, if it were, if you were like, hey, go to the book. And, like, yes, man, it's already been studied. Are you sure why I buy it? But it's like, okay, if I try to buy multiple of this, is it going to stop me? I don't want to test that. <laughs> um, okay. So, I feel like I shouldn't buy books that I don't really plan to use them for, but also at this point, it's like I bought books for literally every everything, even for other stuff, so mine as well. There we go. Okay, so that's Melia taken care of. So that literally just leaves Dunban for skills that I need to find the books for. Because that's all those. Here, nope. He's got all those. Anchor Chain is the only one that I don't have for Ryan. Surprised. Um, huh. Okay, so that one's in Sword Valley, I guess. Um, okay, so don't have Spear Break, not a big deal. Healing Gift, not a big deal. Um, everything else, though. Um... I guess some in Bolt, some in Flare. Um, some in Akua. And do, do, do. Yeah, let's do some in Flare. Yeah, indeed. I like. I, I also just like the idea of like the summon kind of aspect. Um, where it's like, oh yeah, we're going to. Uh, Uh, we're, we're, we're gonna do our, like, nice little, like, wow warlock shtick. I'm gonna do my summons. It's gonna be great. Everyone's gonna love it. Um, okay. That's good. That's good. Good. You could use it more for causing ammo. Ah, okay. I mean, it didn't seem like it, because he's got a lot of, like, the freeze, the freezinate and all that stuff. Um, which I think is might be good. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at him very much or said anything, but I mean, I'm, I have a guide here, and it's like I think it says, yeah, it shows me where I can buy all the books, and it's like best best party and team team setup. Which art should you level up? <laughs> it's like okay, well, whatever. Um, but yeah, he seems to have a lot of uh, arts things, which is good. Um, oh, okay, so I did get. At least some of them, but of course it's for the things that I don't use. Oh, Tempest Kick, though. He moves enemy buffs after thing. I mean, not bad. I mean, I would like to get boosted Gale Slash because 
That's the one that's always going to be on because all his other moves, like so many of his moves are after Gale Slash. Um, okay, so I've got there. Let's leave. Hyantia Tomb, Prison Island. Okay, yeah, so I, I have to think that Dunban stuff is going to be Dunban. What the fuck do you mean Satoral Marsh? There's a fucking shop in Satoral Marsh? Well, shit, there is. <laughs> what do you mean this? Oh, this? Okay, that's what you mean. G good to know. Yeah, it seems that Satoru Marsh is Dunban's in de des designated place. Do we get him in the marsh? Okay, well. See, I'm looking at all the things I'm buying, and I'm like, man. All these, like, boosted levels sure would have been nice. <laughs> Not that I necessarily would have upgraded, like, the levels into the intermediate rank um, at this point. Just given their, uh, the massive AP uh, requirements. But at the same time, it's like, well, look at how much current AP I have stocked up. Maybe. <laughs> at least for Dunban, probably would have. <laughs> There we go. Okay, I get that. And then let's do some of these. Okay. We can do that. Polarize anime. Sure. Do that. Bad lie. Aura focus. Blinding blossom. Yeah, it's fine. Electric gut buster. Books break. Yeah, because right, like. Uh, that one, like, that one's nice because it's cool down is like seven, seven seconds. So, yeah, anything to make that better. Um, yeah, so I do have... Yeah, I have no idea. Like, honestly, Play Dead probably isn't all that good, but whatever. I'll figure it out later. Okay. So, we got some Toro Marsh out of here, Kasha, whatever. Oh wait, you're uh, one that I can finish. Kasha just came back, like, I tell you to sing it. Yeah, it worked out. Yeah, job well done. That was my English. Feel so happy. Quest completed. Cool. Good. Jungle cap, jungle gloves, money, XP. Cool. Give me that XP. Uh, nope. Nope, come on. Yeah. Nope, come on. Down input, there we go. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Because I need to go sell all these garbanzo beans. There we go. Good. Okay. Thank you. No problem, no pawnman. Okay, so... Oral Marsh, Frontier Village, um, Toral Marsh, yeah, okay, so we should be, I think we're, I think we're fine, I think we're good, I think, yeah, so it seems like in each area there's, there's a shop, at, unless it's like, unless it's in-in, Heifer Cave, yeah, because this one doesn't have one. Bonas' leg already went to both. Colony 6 obviously went there. And also went there. Ether Mine. There's one there, and I haven't gone into the Ether Mine. Let's go check it out. Just in case. This is this is the hey I'm before I progress the story any for the first hour of the stream I'm just gonna go buy shit <laughs> because I haven't done it the entire the entire game okay so this one just sells dupes of the things that I've already got okay so just in case you missed it somewhere else you could uh, come here nope okay the monster march by us interior. Um, nope. Back in the forest. Um, there's one there. Let's go check that out. 
Yes, oh. Oh, so entertaining this content is. I need, I need to do it. Okay, and you don't even sell things because you're worthless to me. Uh, okay. Oh my god, holy shit, what the hell is going on here? Why is there so much stuff? Why is there so many exclamation? Is it because this is like a, there's a gather quest that I have proc'd or something? Is that what's going on? Okay, well, well let's, let's figure this out. Oh no, chances are, oh yeah, didn't I pick up like, freaking like, 12 elimination quests in, uh, in Machna? I think that's what this is. Just all the different, uh... Oh. Uh, all the different, um... Get the different thing quests. This isn't going well. Oh, Don't damn. I was, so, they, I think they improved that in uh, Xeno 3, where you can grab onto things as you're falling. Um... It's pretty cool. This isn't going well. Okay. Don't you dare give up. Yeah, so it's a whole bunch of gather quests and also probably elimination ones. That's all these exclamation points. But while I'm down here, might as well get these uh, ether deposits. Gimme. Venomous lizard. That seems like a collectible that I haven't got yet for here. Indeed it does. So I'm going to put them in. Okay. So we have figured that out. That's all that matters. Um, Frontier Village already did that. Aerith Sea. There's a shop in Aerith Sea or... Yes, there was. Hovering Reef. Hovering Reef. <laughs> uh, where? Oh, is he up on top of this lighthouse? Br browse my wares while also looking at some beautiful shit. Heal counter. Sure. Cool. Sorry about that. Good. Also, the thing is, I don't even know if the skills are, like, good or not, but still want to get them. Because if there's ever a point where I need to use them, I would like them to be as good as possible. Alchemoth got that. High Antia Tomb. I don't think there's a... Yeah, there's not a shop there. Prison Island. There is not a shop on Prison Island. No one wanted to... No one, no one wanted to start their uh, very interesting business <laughs> on Prison Island. By very interesting business, I mean no one wanted to start doing some some commerce on a place called Prison Island. <laughs> like, oh, you know, let's like, let's, shut, let's let's set up shop in Crime Alley. <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna be a that's gonna be good. What could possibly go wrong? Crime Alley. We all love Crime Alley. Um, okay. We got a whole bunch of these. This is a gem crafting tutorial. Heart to heart continued. Um, taxes are hard. Two people involved must be in your party. Oh, wait. In your party. Okay. The affinity between them must be equal or higher than the necessary affinity. Oh, second heart to heart will add it to the list where you can uh, view these conditions. Okay. Okay. So, uh, camera, two types of equipment, monster attacks. See, it's weird, like, I get kind of why they would do it this way, where it's like, hey, here's, here's the main tutorial for a thing, and then have a second, like, optional go-look-at tutorial. But at the same time, like, just give me all the information at once. <laughs> like, get, like, if I want to skim through it, like, I can skim through it, and then just tell me it's, like, I can look at it later as well, but like, you know, just give it to me up front. You don't, no need to make me go search for it uh, on my own. 
Um, okay, so bedtime and tantrum. I'm presuming I just. Yeah, because I still got more places yes. to go before. Yeah. I have received orders from Prince Callion. I'm to take you to Magna Forest in this vessel. Are you ready to depart? Let's go to Magna Forest. On our way to Magna Forest. To go smack some robots in the face. <sighs> oh. Skill learned. What the fuck do you mean skill learned? What the hell skill was learned? God damn it, we literally just... I just got done with this. Are you talking here? This? Anything else? You? What? What are you talking about? Increase movement speed, strength during the day. Skill trees. This? You get new. Oh no! Okay, that's what you got. That okay? That's what I meant by skilling. Okay, 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 okay. I was I was about to get like, what do you mean? I just got it was skill, not art. Okay, yeah, there we go. Oh, I got very, very alarmed. I was like, we did. We just went through all the shops and bought all of those things. Are you really gonna sit here and tell me? That was not enough for you. Excuse me. It's time to just kill you because why not? God, that's a big thing back there. Musky nectar. Okay, Enigma Lotus. Hello there. Can I not even fight you? No, you can fight you. Okay, you are just massive. Okay. Don't know why you're so big. It's interesting that, um, the Monado doesn't count as arts or anything. It's just, it just is. I mean, I guess it's useful because it prevents bosses from uh, being able to just lock you out of being able to save yourself. Yeah. yeah, it's starting to make a little bit more sense as to why, like, a whole bunch of enemies are given, like, oh yeah, here's hundred some odd AP for killing a single enemy. It's like, oh yeah, that's, that's the reason why, because now Skills are starting to cost like so many thousands of uh, AP that it's frankly quasi ridiculous. Not ridiculous, but it's going to be a bit to uh, be able to deal with. Hey, would you mind them? There we go. Ooh, okay, super pushy, super push me. How dare you super push me? Is that the big ape thing? I mean, it's a general monster. It's not the, uh... It's, it's not like the, the super ape. It's not like the UM super ape. Forest of gossip. But, yeah, no, the big ape... The, the big ape thing that you can just find really early in the game, level, like, 80-some-odd thing, is, uh... Is mean. Yeah, who who doesn't love going from rainforest to ice? <laughs> Some somehow these two biomes can just exist next to each other with no with no real explanation other than hey man. <laughs> we want to have a visually different JRPG from place to place, all right? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Stop. Ooh, robot. Zanza is not dead. I feel it. 
Our tragedy unfolds once again. I'm really feeling it. Lady Maynath. Does that mean? Indeed. I do not doubt that Egil too is aware. Sansa. Uh, However. Egil. Why free the Monado? Sansa must realize it is now a double-edged sword. And what reason could he have for choosing the boy? <sighs> what is this? I am experiencing feelings for the boy. Robo feelings? Lady Maynard. Vinaya, your swift repairs are appreciated. Thank you. I wish to see that boy again. Oh, she wants to meet with the one who wields the Monada. She wants me. The boy. She wants shock. But my lady, is that not? Is Egil aware of my reawakening? Uh, he is not. As my lady wished, he knows nothing. Then, there is no need to worry. I shall meet the boy. <laughs> I desire Besides, it. The Monado will draw him to me. How convenient. We want to go see her, she wants to come see us. Who wants to bet we meet in the valley? Although she's a lot faster. Off without me, huh? I know you from somewhere. <laughs> of course, I remember you. You're Jungburn's little sister. <laughs> you, it took you that long to remember? <laughs> like, you didn't remember when you were fighting in the sky near each other? It, it took... until then? Valley Mountain. This mountain is weird, man. There's lava and ice and crystals going crazy. I could go for a hot cup of Dixon's homebrew right about now. We're not built for this cold. Maybe wear something with sleeves, Ryan. It is to be expected. This climate is as different to your home as it gets. It only snows this high up on the Bionis. <laughs> Ricky hate cold. And you're covered in fur. This can't be nice for Ricky. He's from Matna. A little further down is Sword Valley, right? Yes. But before then, I must show you something. Me? You, Shulk. Shulk. Okay, <laughs> Alice, Do just don't whip it out here. That tall formation that looks like a tower. Ruins, to be precise. Ricky, see it? Bigger than Big Tree in Village. We can rest there. I'll explain everything then. There's a fun place here where it's an ice hallway where if you run on it, keep building. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Is this where fun uh, game not designed for uh, platforming shenanigans gets some platforming shenanigans? Yeah. Okay, no palm merchant buy. Okay, you do not have any stuff. I mean, you have stuff, but you have no. Um, uh, yeah, and I can't take these off because. Those are unique boots. I could put them on other people. But... Yeah. So if, you, uh, so if you jump, you go flying forward and just hit the ground and then die. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, because there are... There is stuff to buy here. Um... I could probably, some of stuff would probably be good to buy. However, at this point, it's more just like, eh, you know what, I'll just... I'll just save... <laughs> Save my money. I'll pick up weapons and stuff anyway. Like throughout. So, might as well save my money for any skill books. Although, probably not that many skill books left in the, uh... Left in the, uh, game. Also, you know what? Let's be real here. The first person that I encounter in an area is probably the one that's going to give the most quests. So, let's get some... Yeah. Presumably kill quest from you. Going down the mountain, I want to make a path of research. Yeah, how for it want to defeat you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Get them. Yeah, get all the elimination quests. 
before I go into the area so I can potentially do them while I'm going down instead of get them afterwards. There we go. Cool. Okay. So are we going up or down? I think they said, yeah, they want us to go down. So, down we go. Oh god, this is so steep. Look at how steep this area is. God, I, like, I would be tempted to get, like, roll up a, uh, a snowball. Toss it down. Probably pick up speed really quickly. Okay. There's a thing over there. Cave right over here. Uh, I picked up some collectibles, presumably. Sour radish. I only need one more fruit. Good like that. Easy. Okay. So the plot is getting quite interesting, I have to say. So Fiora seemingly was KO'd, eaten by the robots, which means that I guess her body was transferred over, and they did mention specifically a soul transfer as well, like soul transfer was complete, which I guess means your soul might still be in there somewhere, but she has amnesia, um, somehow, and that uh, is not great for us, but it's, it's whatever. Um, First, and... Um, so that's the case with there, but I mean, we don't know the purpose of this lady, uh, main. Ah! Ether Explosion. Ow. Dick. Yeah. I've changed my fate, don't you know? Dude, I'm able to do that. My word, like, I'm, I'm allowed to change my fate, because that's how, that's how cool I am. I can change my fate. If you could change your fate, would ya? The answer is yes. Every single time. Always. Never stop changing your fate, bro. Just always, always change it. All the time, everywhere. Okay, Cloud Staff, might have to check that out. Uh, Apis Gold... Iron Lump. Okay. Popular Staff, Cloud Staff. Okay, Cloud Staff is just better. Swap Gems. Boink. <laughs> easy. Gotta appreciate the, the easy decisions in games. It's like, hey, do you want to just do something that is 100% better? Yes. Every single time. <laughs> There's actually no question to be had here. There's... No issue, there's no up or down, there's no pros and cons, it's literally just, hey, this is better. Use it. <laughs> uh, I feel like when you're playing a game, most of the time it's pretty rare to get instances like that, where they're always trying to have some slight downside, even if you're just straight up going, like, forward, upward, in, like... That where it's like, oh yeah, no, the amount of strength or damage that you're going to be outputting with said new equipment would easily uh, outsize any, like, it's, it's usually, like, accuracy they put where it's like, oh, it's, like, a lot stronger but slightly less accurate. And it's like, okay, well, yeah, but maybe depending on the game, it's like you can level up your stats that, like, affect accuracy to offset it or you can put other things in to, like, artificially increase your accuracy to offset it. But it's very few and far between, I would say, in video games, where it's like, oh yeah, here's just an item that's just straight better. But 
I guess you can expect a little bit more in games like this where you just have so much equipment and multiple party members where it's like, okay, if you're trying to balance like six, seven characters worth of equipment across multiple equipments, right? It's not just a weapon. There's also chest piece, pants, shoes, and a glove as well. Um, like... Try, trying to have that kind of system where it's like, oh yeah, there's give and take and all the stuff. It's like, it would probably be a massive, massive, massive annoyance to have to think of every single piece of equipment like that. Like, okay. At this point in the game, they're probably using this piece of equipment. It also doesn't help that, like, the Collectopedia, if you do that full, you usually get a piece of equipment that could be a lot better than what normally would be there, so it's like, you could have a better piece of equipment already anyway, and now you're actually like downgrading compared to what uh, some people might be using at that point. So how much is it even worth to go through the exercise of, oh yeah, like the, the, this is a positive versus a negative, but if you're using the best thing already, then it would only be negatives and you would never go to it. So. There we go. Ooh, got a lot of stuff. Reefing up dudes give good sell, but yeah, but they're also d freaking d beefy as fuck, man. They take forever to kill. <laughs> I mean, even though I have Melia and she does either damage, it's still gonna be takes so long, right? Like, hey, man, you wanna? Come on, where's your ass? Where's your ass, you ass? Dude, it is so... You... Fuck. There we go. Okay. HP. Oh, yeah, that's what that is. I don't feel like I need that right now. Okay. Uh, have the option. Purge. Purge, bro. Alright. It's also really hard to tell which way is the front on these bastards. <laughs> Because it's like, it's like, oh yeah, is uh, whatever. Like that, I feel like that's something that they definitely improved, at least in CS3, not CS3, Xenoblade 3, there we go, where the enemy had a circle on the ground and it just was like, hey, the enemy's pointing this way, <laughs> right, it was very useful. Um, I presume because it's not in the- oh yeah, they explode for you to die if you don't kill them. Yep, that also sucks. So you're basically kind of on a time limit. Um, but yeah, I also- I have to think that that wasn't yet in Xenoblade 2, because if it was, then I would imagine that in this re-HD remaster or whatever, they would have added that, because it just seems like such a good update. Um, would have to check, though. Oh, God, that's big. They should, they should have put a, uh, they should have put a, uh, little, little puddle of water at the bottom. Oh, yeah, look at this. So steep. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, that was a... Ah, my knees. Okay, collectible, collectopedia. Need one more nature, one more animal, one more flower, one more veg, and then... Oh, no, wait, two more nature. Uh, and then two strange. Haven't gotten any of the strange things yet. Which I guess is fine. Are you a quest? 
Yeah, you are a quest. Hey, bitch. Get over here. Kill two of them. That's nice. Hard backbone. Must be a really big backbone. It's a good thing our pockets are freaking bottomless, or else we wouldn't be able to carry all our shit. It's like you know, I mean, you look at our, you look at our inventory, right? And it's like, oh hey, yeah, I'm carrying eight, eight chest pieces, carrying eighteen freaking eighteen shoes, twenty pairs of pants. You just sitting there being like, hey man, you need to really, uh, you really need to uh, tone it down on how much you're bringing because you're weighing us down in these fights. We don't have a. We're not all super jacked, man. So, no, it's training. You don't get it. Oh god, you are so fucking close to the edge, man. Expecting you to go down. Okay, icy shower. Oh, crane. Not great, but I can. Should be able to stop it. Oh, fuck, bitch. Oh, pick me up. God damn it. You were like so close to dead. You were, he was so close to dead. That sucks. Yeah. All that tells you is, it's really hard to kill things if, uh. <laughs> they're flying over the freaking bottomless abyss. And, uh, you can't, uh, get any of your, uh,. Situational bonuses. Like, oh yeah, you want you want to do bonus damage with backslash? I would love to. I have to get behind you though, and that's kind of impossible <laughs> because Shulk can't fly. If Shulk could fly, I imagine he would have already rushed to uh, rush to his early demise. Given his uh, desire for revenge against Metal Face. Uh, I still think it's really funny how he he called him Metal Face. Just kind of being like, ah, look, it's Metal Face. And then, like, <laughs> it's revealed that that's, like, his actual, like, code name, it seems. Like, Metal Face. Like, that's not. <laughs> like, the. <laughs> the Mechanis. People also just decide, oh yeah, you know, metal face, because they're the face units, he's the metal face, whatever, yeah. Like, we're not all made of metal. <laughs> I'm, I'm questioning, questioning some of the, the continuity here. There's every character just know every other person's name intrinsically. <laughs> they see him and go, I know your name. Girl Courgette? What the fuck is that? Girl Courgette. Um, okay. Well, Fatal Belladonna. Got all the flowers. Confuse resist three. Okay. It seems that we have got a new skill tree. That's where you steal AP with Yoink and share with the party. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Arts. Who learned new art? You learned a new art, I guess. Headshot. Headshot. Critical hit, inflicting instant death on enemies suffering days. Oh, that's pretty good. So it has a cooldown of two minutes. They're just very good, I guess. I, yeah, you know what? That might be true. How's it going, BT? Hope you're doing well. 96. Okay, okay. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. I was like, oh, hey, look at these things. I'm going to try and kill them. 
Oh, no, you're not. No, you're not, buddy. <laughs> you are going to leave that thing the hell alone. Because the chances are it will just one tap you. Do not try to deal with that. One, two, three. Good. It's fine. We're fine. It's fine. It's fine. Eh, die. Just, it's coming in here, absolutely just shanking the living shit out of this one Durkin. Even worse if I left afterwards, like, oh yeah, I'm just going to demolish you. And then afterwards, I'll just... I'll leave your friends to mourn you. They're not even Turkins, they're Chilkins. Good. Oh, what? I'm doing well, it's Blake Holder. Is that Sean? <laughs> I because I am. I mean... Yeah, I think, I think it's just chilling. Yeah, it's, it's pretty... It's pretty cold now. Today... Yeah, today was a pretty chilly day. Although it did get up to the 50s um, by like noon, midday, which was nice. But morning, it was like, oh, okay, it's cold. There's ice on my windshield. Love it. Um, what did I just pick up? Did I pick up a head piece or was it? I picked up something. I wasn't kind of paying attention, kind of not. It was Amethyst Boost, that's it. Okay, so those are going to go on someone else. Who needs more defense? I can't. Oh wait, they're medium, so yeah, you can't wear them. Um, you can. Um, you can, but you're the one. Is uh, there we go? And then shell boots. Those are boost. Good. Okay. Yeah, keep Ryan, keep Ryan with uh, good defense because he's tank and therefore he has to uh, take the most hits normally. I mean, if he's able to actually collect the aggro. That, that is one kind of uh, downside to immediately starting with uh, with like a, like a super hit backslash where it's like, oh yeah, no, I'm immediately gathering a whole crap ton of aggro. And I'm relying on, uh, I'm relying on Ryan to be able to take that from Shulk somehow. Whether or not he will be successful, uh, you know, it depends. Aggro done. That is true. Yeah, I know I have auto attack stealth, which decreases the amount of aggro and auto attack generates, but the, uh, I guess I haven't really looked at aggro down gems. Because I don't even know. Any way to sort these alphabetically? Because that would be my uh, desire. Um, I also don't think I have any aggro down gems. I think it's just... Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, Alright, stealth might work. Mm. I'm a stealthy boy. Shulk the ninja. The blonde hair British ninja. Um, also, we've been going through. Level up. How's it going? Okay, we want to boost backslash. Uh, because of course we do. 17 seconds. Yeah, no, backslash is the move that I want to make sure I have it maxed whenever possible. Um, well down. Uh, shield bash, flicked with days, get that down to 20 seconds. That's good. Um, Okay, you're working here. You're my healer, so I would like that to get down and we're trying to go higher. That was good. Smash. Almost. Backslash! 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 Um, okay. Let's just get heal bullet up. 
max it out, so I don't have to worry about it, because the last uh, skill things for each person are dropped, I guess, from a UM. I probably need to basically wait until the end of the game to be able to uh, do. <laughs> so I'm not too uh, not too concerned with those right now. Go do that. Nope. Just, uh, excuse me. Point. Aw, oh, damn. Didn't get the, uh... Go. Time for a chain attack. Anytime I try to do an accent while well, doing certain words, I feel like I can't do it in British. I auto, I auto go to like Australian. <laughs> like Tom Ford, chain attack. Push me on that Bobby. Go. British. Hello, he's British. Okay, give me that fun stuff. Oh, god damn it. You bastard. Hey, everyone. So, uh, I want to encourage you. Downswipe? No, do not downswipe me. We have fun with our accents. I mean, I feel like every country has fun with their accents. Oh, god damn it, I didn't want to. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I have a pretty distinctive accent compared to my country. Uh, I don't want to say distinctive, but it's. It's 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 known. It is a known. The New England slash Boston accent is known. Apparently, it's been voted one of the most annoying accents in the U.S. And I'm like, you know what? Fair. But hey, you just jealous. You just jealous that we talk fast. That's the only. That's the only reason. Okay. Good. Take them out. Dirty snow wing. There we go. Let's go. Oh, but I remember I was talking with uh, Rias uh, off stream. And I was like, man. Right, like in America, when we think of like attractive accents, we're like, oh yeah, the Aussie accent's pretty, it's pretty attractive accent. Like, like it's pretty good. And like, maybe like depending on like, where in Britain or whatever, or like the gentle British accent, it's like, oh, that could be attractive. I'm like, what What do people in foreign countries think of like the different American accents, right? Like, is the Southern accent attractive? How's the Boston accent? The Boston accent can't be attractive. Uh, maybe Swedish or Czech. Ooh, the Swedish accent is pretty good. Like, 100% agree. That's a, that's a good accent. But like, um, just being like, oh yeah, uh, <laughs> like what's the what's like of the of the regional accents? What's the attractive American one? Because I'm like, like I had like I would imagine it would be like the standard like oh yes yeah, it's that Southern country drawl song is like you, everyone sells all their teeth. I think everyone likes a Russian accent. Yes, but specifically, I feel like. A female with a Russian accent is attractive. A guy with a Russian accent is just really intimidating. <laughs> Cannot imagine a southern accent causing moisture. I'm not saying like super southern, but like you think of like uh, like a like a country singer, right? Like that that level of southern <laughs> accent, where it's like the northern south, I guess. Right, like maybe slightly south of Maryland, but not like Kentucky. <laughs> Right, like maybe, yeah, hey, hey, Shulk, you're getting crazy. Um, right, like I feel like that could be seen as attractive. But, yeah, it's like, I, like I listen to an American accent, I'm just like, eh. Like, I guess when you live with it, and you you listen to it and you hear it, like, you don't really... Like, I don't think an Australian person would be like, oh yeah, our accent is attractive, because that's just how they talk, right? 
it doesn't sound exotic to them because it's not. It is their normal. But to everyone else, it is exotic. Uh, so I have to think like, ooh, like to the people who would think the American accent is exotic, what is that like? Ooh, okay, you got a new skill. Lariat. How's Lariat? Deal damage to multiple enemies in front of Ryan. Yeah, that's fine. It's an AoE. Don't know if that's a good move. I'm really tempted to go to the thing where it's like, uh, on this guide where it's like, what are what are everyone's best moves? I'm tempted to look at it, but I'm also like, eh, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll fucking mess it up anyway. A little bit more scared to mess it up because you can't like you can't uh, get back the levels, right? Like you can't unlevel up a skill. Wish you could. I feel like that would be nice. I feel like a lot of games recently have been getting a lot better with that kind of um, stuff, where it's like, eh, you know what? F it. It's like you leveled up a skill. You wanted to test it out. We get it. We're not gonna we're not gonna hold that against you. Here here's all your points back. You can put it in something else. Uh, yeah, bam. And and Hall, Anton, Anton. When did you become an ant? Come on, man. How are you gonna woo the ladies as an ant? Ooh, Melia's talking about something building within her. Go. You gonna pay attention to that? Uh, as Brit can say, I'm too familiar with American accents, but British ones, we just poke fun at them. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we like to we like to poke fun at accents. That is, that is the thing. But I also feel like poking fun at accents is a highly like, it it is a hey, we are from this country, and because we listen to it a lot or we hear it a lot. And we know where it's from. That's why poking fun at it is fun. <laughs> Whereas, like, oh, it's like if someone started poking fun at, New, uh, like, a New York accent. Well, I guess New York is probably well known to people through, like, movies and shit. But, like, New England accent, it's like, oh, okay, well, maybe. I guess I kind of get what's a little bit funny about it, but maybe not a whole bunch. Uh, she looks best move is light heel, goaded sauce. Hey, how's it going, Wisp? Hope you're doing well. It is more okay to make fun of British people. <laughs> I feel like it's morally okay to make fun of basically any group of people at this point in time, <laughs> right? Like, because like you can all you can always go to like, oh yeah, look at what the British did, and it's like, oh look at what they like. You go back far enough in like effectively any culture's history, and it's like, oh yeah, you know, they did some stuff worthy of being made fun of for now at least. I'm sure, as long as we can do it back. I know, yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, who got the skill? What skill did you get? Grants physical defense, increases ether when HP is a half, reduce current endurance. Okay, yeah, we'll take that. Where am I going? It said go to the bottom. Where, like, they're not getting, like, this is the first time in a long time that they're not giving me, they're not giving me, uh, they haven't given me the, uh, whatchamacallit. Okay, so I had to have his active, that's what was wrong. Okay. I figured it out. <laughs> That's kind of dumb. I would, like, I'm surprised that the game doesn't just have, hey, here's the yellow dotted line for the story, and here's the blue dotted line for else. Sestago Lexus. Yo, fucking Lexus. Hey, nerd. How's it going, Fontana? How was, uh... No, you were playing Strikers off stream as well as on stream the new one oh god i i saw you going live it was was it ishan whoa platforming i'm glad i fucking jumped when i did and closed the fucking ha <laughs> ah. <laughs> and closed the um map oh god that was yesterday uh, well. yeah ah my ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, shit. Damn. This is the speed will kill you area. Indeed it is, it seems like. It. Well, is it? Ah, you're playing out of a 7 remake. Okay, okay, that's what you're playing. Okay, had to, had to open up. Had to open up the Discord. 
How was that? How far did you get? You can set the cyclist with active and give a line. You can't. You can't. I'm just surprised that you can't just have the story quest always active and then the side quest as a extra blue line is to have one or the other. I got on the train. Oh, okay. Wait. You got on the train. <laughs> can't on the train a couple times. <laughs> In fact, you start the game on a train. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Yeah, see that's a that's a game that I played it I played it on the I think PS4 when it released, um, and it was it was pretty darn good. I didn't play the Intergrade, which I need to get around to, and I haven't played the um, the newest like side chunk one that, I'll, that I feel like you probably have to play before the newest one comes out. So maybe maybe on stream I'll play through all three of those games before or after the. Uh, <laughs> The second of the three remake games comes out for Final Fantasy VII. Uh, finish the reactor, evade the cops, and go on the train. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Uh, and I, <laughs> Fontana, I have found, I have found the arts manuals. I have figured out that these are things you can purchase. Um, so hey, we're doing good. We're doing good. <laughs> uh. Yes, intermission. Uh, Intergrade is just the enhanced. Yes, Intergrade is well. Intergrade is the enhanced version that has the DLC bonus thing with Yuffie included. That's uh, what I was referencing because I haven't done the Yuffie uh, stuff, um, and I haven't done the stuff with the Zach as well, which is the. Second one? Seven, seven has just so much around at least yet. Mm. I mean, there's what, main game, DLC, which is in Integrate, and then the Zack one. As far as I understand, those are the only three new, like, new quote-unquote games, re-games, and then there's the new one coming out in March, which is the second third of the thing, Crisis Core as well. Yeah. Well, isn't Crisis... What, wasn't the new Zack one just Crisis Core again, or is that separate? Because, <laughs> yeah, there's, like, a whole bunch of FF7 just stuff in general. But I'm talking about, like, the new remake relevant uh, stuff, because I think that's it. Backslash! Excuse me, I'm just going to reduce my aggro. Aggro! It's a horse. Aggro. Uh, Crisis Core is a prequel. Rebirth is the two thirds of remake trilogy. Yes, but didn't they just release a Crisis Core remake? Or is that still just a? Wasn't it just a movie, or was that something else? <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, Crisis Core reunion. That's what it was called. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. So there's basically three games out currently that I would need to play to catch up on. As Core was a PSP game. It was. I remembered I remembered something was PSP for FF7. So I remember there was a movie which may have also been on the PSP. <laughs> I think. Because that was back in the days where they were putting it was, like, it was like on the Game Boy Advance and was I think Game Boy Color or whatever, Game Boy SP, where they would put like episodes of shows and shit on the cartridges and sell those. That was Advent Children. That's what it was. Advent Children was the movie. Okay, Bedtime and Tantrum. I've yet to use Ricky, but whatever. Doing good. And you got Burninate. Burninate! Then there was Dirge of Cerberus. Or Dirge of Kerberos, if we were going to presumably pronounce it as they likely did in Japanese. Because they do the hard C sound for Cerberus, which I believe is how you would say it in, in Greek. But not 100% sure. Light heal. Okay, why... Oh, 
feeling it. And you're immune to that. Shaker Edge. As in also as a mobile game. But yeah, but mobile games we just generally other than Kingdom Hearts mobile games, we know just like, ah, whatever. Plot is plot is pointless. Cause I mean they also had the friggin' Oh, it was the FF7 remake, uh, uh, Battle Royale. That's now, I think, out of service. You know who Dirge was? Wasn't that a story about the vampire dude? Fuck. Come on. Come pick me up. Come pick me up. Thank you. Yeah, Vincent Shooter. Oh, wait, was a shooter? <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. Salt roasted bird. I don't know how us killing that bird seasoned it and roasted it, but hey, we'll take it. Um, okay. Animal. A wet rat. <laughs> Although it has thick, soggy fur, cuddling one keeps you warm. Or a heel, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, I just love picking up a soggy rat and going, hmm, I'm gonna cuddle you. Yeah, third person shoot. That's so weird. I mean, like, I'll give it to them. Like, at least they're experimental with, like, FF7 stuff. I mean, like, hey, we'll take it. But, I mean, I wouldn't think FF7 and go third person shooter. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Would not. Especially about the vampire man. Like, like, really? Of all the characters featured in that game, you choose Vampire Man for the third person shooter. Not, you know, the dude with a gun for a hand. Not Barrett. Really? That was popular my speaks. I mean, yeah, no, it's without a doubt. I mean, hey, man, like... When you're a publicly traded company, it's just milk the money from whatever you can. Milk it, milk it, milk it. Vincent used a gun? Okay, you know what? I did not know that. I thought, as a vampire, he probably- I thought he used swords. <laughs> okay, good to know at least he uses the gun, so it's quasi-makes sense. I, but I would still contend! <laughs> That of all the characters to think of when you think third person shooter, dude with a gun for an arm, like many Digimon, <laughs> that that would come to mind. I wonder how many how how many Digimon have a gun for a hand? Like it, it has to be more than ten, right? Like it has to be at this point. Like I couldn't name them, like because they're like I couldn't. But I mean, like, let's be real here. Come on. Ruins. I wonder who built them. Elvis, this the place you meant? Hmm. It appears to have frozen over while I have been away. Like, I can, I can't name it, but I know at least one of them is the up di digivolution of was it Lotmon from Digimon Tamers. Right, there was the blue hair kid that had the thing that kind of had the long floppy bunny ears. When that thing evolves, that gets a gun for a hand. So I know that one. That one at least. <laughs> Can't believe you're generalizing about a series with such gems as Gundramon. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> uh, it appears to have frozen up. But in a way, pay me no mind. No, I will pay you mind. You fucking alphas. What do you mean? <laughs> Been away. There's ruins. We will need to do something about the ice before we can enter. Gundramon is real and it can hurt you. I mean, yes. Like, you could you could put anything in the chat right now with put a mon, like a mon at the end. I'd be like, yeah, that's probably a Digimon. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> like, there's a 90% chance that that is a Digimon. Throw hot water on ice. Yeah, nice one, genius. Precisely. There should be a geezer nearby. Geezer? Is that how it's pronounced over the, on the other side of the pond? Not geyser? Okay. Chance of a Gundramon sneaking up behind you is low, but never zero. It has two shoulder guns, a bat gun, a tail gun, gun on its kneecaps and heels, and also has both hands being guns. Okay, so we have identified two Digimon that have guns for hands. 
But yes, if Gundramon only had a singular gun, I'd be disappointed. It needs to have guns everywhere. It, it needs to be a fifth grader's idea of what an edgy gun Digimon should be. In Jamaica, do they call it the Digimon Nom? <laughs> Digimon Mon. <laughs> it is Digimon Mon. <laughs> Where is Jamaica Mon? <laughs> Come, come on, man. Come on, Jamaica Mon. Hey, you're not saying it right. It's Jamaica Mon. That's probably some kind of bad, but I said it. And no, we say geyser. That's just a bit of a weird doing. Okay. In Obviously, you're weird. It, we will find a stone called Magma Rock. Okay, good. I'm glad you don't say Magma Rock. And we can use this rock to melt the ice. I believe so. So, shall we head to the cave? Sounds good. Start looking for a geezer, everyone. Fucking Shulk says it too! <laughs> okay, so I guess the people with this particular accent love to say it. This particular version of it. Where the director was like, yo, you guys are gonna call it a geezer. Why? Fuck you. That's why. How dare- how dare you question me? In my genius, I am so smart. Uh, going up this hill. Yeah. But yeah, I'm excited because uh, now that I'm done with my week of training, that means I can kind of get back to normal length streams, which is welcome. Be able to work through the uh, remainder of East 9. Not sure how much more I have left, but uh, the remainder, nonetheless. Uh, we need to really like each other. I've heard anyone call it geezer. Geezer is a slang term for just a dude. I mean, yeah, geezer is slang term for an old guy. At least here. Like, specifically, like, a guy. Like, an older man. Like, you wouldn't go up to, a, like, a dude who's, like, 30 and call him a geezer. But if they're like 80. You know, yeah, look at that geezer over there. Fucking, fucking start burying. Start digging the hole. Gonna need it soon. Fucking geezer. Basically, basically, if you're talking about anyone in Congress or the Senate, <laughs> you could probably call him a geezer, and you would have like a 95% chance of using it correctly. Uh, because they're all an old. Whatever. I'm playing Xenoblade right now. We're killing wildlife for their refined homes. You know what I learned? Uh, that every kiss begins with K? Maybe? Uh, I don't know why that my brain went to that commercial. Uh, the guy who voiced Bear in Remake, all aggressive and shit, he also voiced fucking Parks. Really? Okay, okay, that's interesting. I would not have, would not have placed that. But hey, they're both they're both activists. Parks is like, yo, let's get these people out of prison. And Barrett's like, yo, let's fucking save the planet. All right, the most chill dude in any. Eh? Yo. Okay. I'm curious to know what skills, right? Because I have to imagine like the skills that like speedrunners would equip for this game are probably the most optimal skills. Like they probably only buy the necessary skill books for those skills in particular, precisely because of that. So I'm like, ooh, <laughs> could watch a speedrun and maybe see what skills I should focus on. But then I'm like, eh, whatever, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh no, it's a bat. But yeah, seeing like the range that different, uh, the range of characters that different uh, voice actors have uh, have done in like various games is so weird. Because you'll just be sitting there being like, how did the same person voice these two characters that are so different? Like, seems ridiculous. Let me 
Cause he'd be like, ha, ha, how did a, how did a, like a, how did like a, 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 a director listen to like, or how did, how did someone like li listen to a reel of someone doing Barrett and then be like, oh yeah, works well for Parks. I will just list off any I found on the list. Assault Mon, okay, there we go, we got three. We got three gun, gun hands. I swear to God, if gun hand mon is a thing, or handgun mon, <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Doesn't, um, the evolved form of, or the digivolved form of the red one also in Digimon Tamers get, get a Bielsamon 2010 anime version? Kind of laser cam, but it's not. Yeah, that one, yeah, that one too. Digimon Tamers really love gun hands. Um, or is that, is that one that I'm thinking of, Assault Mon? Like the one that's kind of like a raptor with the white hair. Like the right white mohawk. Hey man, you want to uh, come over here? Brig uh, Brigadramon, Omnimon. Omnimon has gun hand? Yeah, I should probably like know at least a little bit because I did play Cyber Sleuth, but it's just been a while since I played Cyber Sleuth. At some point I'll probably play the sequel on, on stream, but. No, it's not top of my list. Uh, I can hand Deputy Mon uses guns, but also has a torso. Has a gun. Shit, torso gun? Next level. Gun body. This side attack. Damn it. Didn't break him. Or, fuck. Tits. Or, slut. Sloot. It's the sloot. Sword drive. Um, okay. Magna Garurumon. Yeah, that sounds about right. Rumon was, I think, my my brother's favorite growing up. See, like wolves and shit. Ow. Yo. Can you please stop? Rumon X antibody. Oh yeah, because that you know that'll be a different one. I think, you know, the conversation is that Megatron transformed him into a gun once. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Come on. Good, he's dead. <laughs> okay, Uncle Nebula, you really don't need to be fighting me right now. You, you could just be kind enough to leave me the fuck alone. I like how he gets on the ground, that's great. <laughs> leave, me, leave me alone. You remember Skull Greymon? Yeah, oh god. Uh, Mothlon, strangely enough, is a moth with a stinger, but the stinger is not a stinger, but a machine gun. Well, that's good. Okay, we're just gonna... We're gonna flee this little bitch. We don't want uh, Leave me alone. Don't fight me. Okay, cool. Everyone's up. Nice. Uh, my... Yeah, anyone remember Skull Greymon? Yes, me. Muso, Muso Nightmon, Rise Greymon. Dude. Come on. Loves. But yeah, I think I, yeah, we we have definitely passed ten Digimon with gun hand, so hundred percent correct. Um, okay, so sky top amethyst armor. What do you have on? You have strength up. Yeah, that would probably be best. Swap arms with current. Good. Put that shit on him. Sky top. Anything available. Okay. okay, and that was leggings. Snow trunks. You got HP up. Brandal leggings. That's not bad. Let's swap terms of current. Put them on. Okay. God 
damn it, fucking right. Uh, he's so fucking goofy with those trunks on. Shout out to Sistermon Noir, one of the Digimon that is just straight up a human that is dressed as a nun with a cat-eared habit and guns. Tankmon Zeg, <laughs> Sistermon. <laughs> is there Sistermon Blanc? Like white? I know about the Sistermon, and because aren't because aren't isn't that a pair? Like Sistermons? <laughs> I remember I watched a uh, a, a drawfee of them, I think, or it was like. It's like a smash or pass <laughs> of like different Digimon. Indeed, there is Sister Mon Blanc has a try to. Ah, okay. Reality is, man, Digimon really is like unabashedly, like, totally for the smash or pass crowd. Like, Pokemon, you're like riding that weird line where it's like, okay, man, like these are supposed to be animals, but then like Digimon is like, hey, man, these fucking things talk. <laughs> they can, they can give informed consent. <laughs> uh, it's like, okay. Smash or pass becomes less, <laughs> becomes more about physical appearance and not ethical dilemma. Has a white rabbit hat, and Sister Mon Ciel has like a blue Meryl hat and a sword. I guess it's a mouse, probably. Because Meryl is a mouse, so that's the first identification. Oh yeah, recently me and Rice have been doing uh, Pokey Doku every day, like just testing out our Pokemon knowledge. It's really fun. It's like Sudoku with Pokemon, where it's I'd say Sudoku is more like a Punnett square if you think about it. Uh, chunk sells for double digits. Okay, okay, okay. I have to look at that. Um, wait, it's more like a Punnett square. It'll be like, it'll have different things up on like the top row or top columns and then different things with the rows and like you have to do the, uh, like a Pokemon that meets both criteria and you only get nine guesses per day, one for each square. So if you miss even one, it means you can't perfect for the day, which is fine. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's fun. Especially because it's like, oh yeah, you know, I haven't, I, I mean, I, I didn't play the newest Pokemon gen because, I mean, one, I didn't buy it because I was like, I refuse to buy a fucking game that runs terribly when they should have infinite money that makes it run fine, um, but doesn't. And it, it was funny because I even, uh, I even went to the library before going on my trip to Japan and I bought the game, or I, no, I rented the game, and it was like, I'll play this in Japanese on the flight to and fro. Um, as a way to kill time, and I ne I felt no desire to actually play it, even while I was on a plane for 14 hours. And I was like, meh. <laughs> I'll just I'll just I'll just watch Elemental with Japanese subtitles, but in English, so I could help practice that way. Uh, uh a game that isn't finished, basically. Guys, it's a finished game. You just have to squint. <laughs> no, it's a stylistic choice to make it look bad. <laughs> uh, there we go. Ugh. Quest completed. Good. You melted the ice covering the door. Who'd have thunk? I saw that. Big door. How hard do I skim? My eyes are starting to hurt. Keep, 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 keep closer. Get him closer. The You're letters gonna... are worn and difficult to make out, but it's definitely the language of the high end here. Yeah, you just have to squint so hard that your thought is, "Hey, are my eyes closed?" And once that's the thought in your head, then then that's how hard you have to squint. <laughs> they look just like the lettering on Prison Island. If only we could. I don't know. Read it. Oh. Just walk inside. <laughs> it's like a supermarket door. Depending on the supermarket. Millie is cute, but she's in her 80s. Yeah. That's the best part. <laughs> this place. We love a woman with experience and wisdom. 
Something up, Shulk? No, it's just... I feel like I know this place. It was where I was found as a baby. Deja vu. Deja vu, been a bit of a place before. Higher on the street. Da -ba -da -da -ba 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 -da. I'm not sure, but... Because he wasn't a baby, he was like, fucking what, four? When he was found? Four, five. I thought I had it. I can't seem to recall. God damn it, Shulk. It's a blue sword. Are you all right? No, I'm Shulk. What? Must be tired. Don't worry. This is Ose Tower. Ose? Built a leopard by the man from Asia to house and protect the Monado. The ceremony of seers was conducted here. It is also where the Homs found the Monado. Wait, you mean? Ah, <sighs> it's almost like it was pointless that I couldn't remember what it was because Alvis was literally just immediately said what it was. <laughs> Like, why, why make a big point of being like, oh, I can't remember. This is important to me. When it's like, Alvis is not even a minute later. Ten seconds later, just goes, oh yeah, this is where they found Monado, which means this is where they found you. <laughs> like, like why, why have that be an extended thing? And the end of the play 3, but 9, 2. I mean, isn't that kind of the entire idea? of the uh things where there's certain races from Xeno 1, certain races from Xeno 2 and then in Xeno 3 there's all the races but they're associated with the different the the two different powers, right? Cuz like as far as I understand it's like the right in Xeno 3 the Kavesi that side they get the Hyentia with all the people like uni uni's the boss uh and the agnian side get the you know firehead people which are meant to be the what the blades effectively from xenoblade 2 antian antia yeah so like i think i think that's kind of the setup they're going for it's like okay like we we don't want like we just want the no pawns to be a universal constant <laughs> that that's what we want <laughs> like the non hom race universal constant no pawn somehow so this is where the monado was kept my dad took it from here my papa have you always been able to see the future you told me you were from a long line of seers did you have the ability from birth in the series, no pawns are called no puns, lol. <laughs> oh, yes. No puns. Like, uh, like Riku. <laughs> the one deep voiced no pawn. I am simple. I am simple no pawn. <laughs> there is nothing special about Riku. Riku is simple no pawn. No pawn used to be serious. I mean, did they? Because, like, you get introduced to Riki and it's. <laughs> Literally, them throwing fruit at this fucking fluff ball that you're fucking setting up like a volleyball that Ryan spikes. Like, that's how they're introduced. I don't. I can't, I can't really take the entire. Can't take it really seriously when that's the introduction of the, your no pawn party member. That's like an entire race. Once. I too came into contact with the Monado. <gasps> Those that are to be seers must touch the Monado. <clears throat> and a chosen few receive our power. That is the ceremony of my family. And the ceremony was held right here. Shulk. Why do you think we can see the future? See, I feel like if that's the prerequisite for seeing the future, why would you not want to just test it with literally everyone? Right? Be like, okay, everyone, time for the time for the field trip. Everyone, go on down to the Monado. Everyone, touch it. 
Can you can you see the future? No. Okay. Next. Can you see the future? Nope. Next. Okay. Like just keep doing that. There's a quest in Xena 2 where they reveal that the whole act in Opine is a long con to make people underestimate them, even the language, because they <laughs> they used to use human. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the Nopon used to be serious. At least the at least the Xeno 2 Nopon used to be serious. As a race, but then they okay, okay, interesting. Okay. But to the player, they've never been too serious. I almost sound like the opening of Star Trek for a second. <laughs> I Psst. hadn't really thought about it. After I grabbed the Monado, I just saw things. Mm -hmm. Your visions are the flow of ether itself. Ether is the very source of our world's existence. Where and how much ether there exists now and in the future can be predicted. Wait, so ether can just be made? <laughs> it does, it's not like matter cannot be created or de nor destroyed. It's just get, get ether can. <laughs> hey, humor is no laughing matter. They take be being silly quite serious. <laughs> I mean, hey, like, honestly, you, you have to think, right? Because, like, yeah, good humor is a serious thing. Like, comedians, it's not like... Like, most good comedians have to come up with a set. They have to plan the jokes, right? They have to seriously, quote-unquote, think about their humor, their jokes, their funnies, their laughs. Like, I don't I, like, I don't think you'll be a comedian for very long if you just try and go up there and work off of natural chops every time. <laughs> Therefore, in principle, the future of living beings good. such as us can also be predicted one of my personal pet peeves is seeing the word principle like the wrong version of principle used wrongly right because there's this version just correct in this context and then there's the pal version which a lot of people would use in place of this one because they <laughs> it's a personal pet peeve so I'm like, if you're using the word, like, principle, like, pre, 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 like, you know, not say high-level word, but it's not a super simple word, right? You don't use it very often. I'm like, if you're using a word like principle, you should know how to spell it. Uh, it's like the there, there, and there. I'm like, how do people, how do, how do people get that one wrong? Right? It's really easy to, to do it, right? It's here or there. H E R E, that's the one. Here or there. It's place. <laughs> they are is a contraction. How do you get that one wrong? <laughs> and that leaves the last one for the other situations. <laughs> the principle of principles. Exactly. <sighs> the principle's principle is to spell principle correctly. Lest. The principle on a loan not be referred. The name of the nopon in the English show Xenoblade Chronicles X is usually pronounced nopon, unlike the nopon that is more common in the English dub of other games in the series. Selk is the only character in Xenoblade Chronicles who says, who say, See, I don't know phonetic English letters. Nopon or nopon? I don't know which one is which. <laughs> Nopon. And there is one thing that makes possible the visualization of those predictions. You mean the Monado? The Monado? The Monado can disrupt the ether, allowing you to release certain powers. Which means my visions, under the same principle, are there to disrupt the future. With no one to control the outcome, the future will never change. But what if someone were to disrupt the future? What then? The future would be changed. Is that how Zanza planned to defeat the Mekonis? But why go to such lengths? What happened all those years ago? Yeah, what happened all them years ago? I know, but when Alma joins the Xena 2, she knows that people on Alris pronounce it differently than on Mir. Okay. Interesting. Did you think it was just a myth? <sighs> kind of. I used to only believe in what I could see. My home, my friends, the Monado itself. I knew those things were real. But when you took the Monado in your hand, you gained the ability to see that which was not meant to be seen. Are you saying I should stop? You are 
a fluctuation. As a fluctuation, you exist outside the results of your predictions. The more you accept this existence, the more malleable the world becomes. I'm gonna morph the world. It's gonna be so fun. In fact, you have no choice but to accept it. Don Van just looking at him. Being like, hmm. Those Good two morning. little pretty boys. Did we sleep well? What are they talking about? Oh, I can't feel my face or feet. What do you think? Ryan not tell truth. Ryan snoring make Ricky think of Orluca. Oi, I don't snore. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone. Sword Valley is just around the corner. Everyone disagrees with that. Everyone will remember that statement. Oh man, I just had to burp. <clears throat> Sorry. There we go. Ow. There we go. Shulk's on his way to get to his destination 25% faster than he would otherwise without the gems he has on. Uh, oh, how I... W I wish there was a way you could, like, pay to pull the gems off of the unique uh, items, right? Because it's like, oh, fuck, I got, the, I got these speed boots on Shulk to make him go fast. Those speed boots are literally from, like, the beginning of the game. <laughs> it's like, you son of a bitch. I want to take that gem off. Put it on a better pair of boots. <laughs> I think like literally any pair of shoes that I pick up at this point in the game would be better than the shoes that Shulk currently has. Now that's like the biggest deal, right? Because it's like, okay, there's some defense, but like more defense is all like it's better in a generally. Can't think of me. <laughs> the only instance I could think of like better defense not being uh, a good thing would be if you have like a specific build like if you were playing like a Dark Knight and like uh, Bravely Default or whatever where it's like I need my HP to be low I need to take damage quick that would be the only instance where having high defense might be uh, counterintuitive uh, although that's usually uh, those types of characters are usually paired with moves that can uh, artificially reduce their health by themselves, right? It's like, oh, use this move, it takes away 25% of your max HP or something like that. Crawly Slobus! Yo. Hello, Crawly Slobus. How are you doing on this fine day, you Crawly Slobus bitch? Crawly Slob on these nuts! Aha, got him. Mountain Impact 4. That's some big damage. Um, Coin. Okay, storm shot. That could be 
pretty good. Oop. This is a Slobo Size Rock. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I don't think that is going to be such a great item. Oop. Okay, cool. So, just saw that their thing went up to a second level. So, does this mean that these are available to be done right now? Because thinking maybe what I'll do is I'll try and collect a whole bunch of heart to hearts, and then uh, maybe in like one of the last streams I will uh, try and do them all. Might require off stream like affinity grinding with like all the gifts and shit, but uh, I could I could try and do that. Um. Okay. Skill trees. What's going on here? Okay, you're almost at physical defense neither. That'll be nice. And then increase chain attack damage. That'll be good. Um, okay, you're here. Crystal harvest. You're kind of pointless. I'm being real, but whatever. Ability buff. AP. Yeah, we'll take that. Easiest way to grind for is that thing I mentioned. Yeah, the what? Sleeping thing? That monster that inflicts sleep and you just get them up or whatever. It's not in Xeno 2 where you can just buy them they increase chest. Ah, okay. See, so yeah, I thought, because they, they mentioned like there was a gift giving thing in like the affinity thing. If I remember, right? Yeah, you can give gift to and from. I thought that this was how you were. I thought this is how, like, you had to kind of do it. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh wait, no, we got that gun. I need to remember. Got those rifle storm. Oh, fucking Christ, that's a lot better. Shit, dude. That's a lot better. That's a lot better. Fucking Gatto's rifle getting topped. I mean, yeah, it loses three. That is one way? Okay. But there's no place where you can just go buy items that, like, we know people like for cheap, I presume. Um, okay, you know, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to, um... We're gonna remove weapon gems, we're gonna get a storm shot, and we are going to put um using AMG by 10%. Check that and uh tax stability. You know what? Sure. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, Gatto's rifle, but you're getting, getting sidelined. <laughs> you. You like the damage numbers on it just are so much better. <laughs> it's a great glacier. What's so great about it? It's big. Oh, okay. Fair. Mm. Yes, that's sad, Narwhal. I'm sorry, dead fiance. Or presume allegedly dead. Oh hey, that Nikon. it's Robo Girl. Are you looking for me? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I was like, where are you going? There she go. Hello. Is no That's a blue. Yeah. This is a no. Ah. No, I want, no, I want to be in the end. Hey, what's up? Hey, that's Fiora. Young heir to the Monado. We meet again. Hey. Fiora! Fiora? Is that my name? Then you... You know this body? So it's true. You really don't remember us at all. Fiora, listen! If nothing else, you must remember your family. That's uh. Dunban over there! Family. There is family. 
Wielder of the Monado. There is a matter I must speak to you about. Oh no. What was that? Yo, can we finally fucking kill Metal Face, please? Metal Face. Stay alert. You killed my father. Get him! Get away from her! No, no. <laughs> Let's all calm down. If I slip, I might mess up her hair. You. You're there, disgusting. Would you be so kind and hand over that dangerous toy you have? I could take it after I smash you all to a pulp, <laughs> but we wouldn't want that, would we? All right, you can have it, but only if you let her go. She's not gonna like obey this request. <laughs> There's a good boy, always eager to please, Shulk. <laughs> What's oh. More? How's it going, dumb man? Hey, it's him. Is that? <laughs> it's Betrayerman. So do all faced Mechon have a a repurposed human oh, body God. in them? Is that the way I it works? It might be, but you're to blame yeah, for all this. Okay. I can't tell you how but badly I want Interestingly this enough, sword. Mumkar is not Amnesiac. But Fiora was. What are you willing to do? <laughs> Would you bad. even kill a Homs to beat us? Oh. Okay. Dare ask that of us. Why did you betray us the Mekonis? Why did you kill our friends at the colony? Why? That makes sense. You wanna know? That makes oh. it's your home. You piece of <laughs> Oh, you can still remotely Stay control the the big that body. Thing works by remote. So unless you want me to put a hole in her neck. <sighs> so what's it to be, weaklings? <laughs> Grovel at my feet and beg. <laughs> <laughs> Melia doesn't he care. Not bow to you. <laughs> He's like, I'll risk it. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> if you kill, if you kill Fiora, I have so go to my show. Um, okay. Uh, I could, I could, could plop Dunban in here. Don't know if that would be a good choice, though. Um, the very least is going to arts and maybe level up some shit. Um,. I need to level up shield some more, because all this Monado stuff is completely uncapped, um, but there's normal stuff. Uh, you know, let's get back slash up to max for right now. I'm gonna leave that there. Um, ba -ba -ba. Do sword drive, more damage, and shorter time. Bloop, bleep, bloop. Um, nothing uses. Okay, and we got you. Wait, summon bolt all the way to the end? What? I don't know how. Wait, why is it? Why is that one so much? Wait, why can that one go to all the way to the end? Yeah, whatever. Um, two, thirteen, twenty-five, twenty-seven. First and um, shadow stitch. Um, I mean, this is big damage, so might as well. Interesting. So I guess that book I found while out in the out in the wilderness was uh was worth it. it was good. Okay, let's get that, pop that, and then work on that. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so we can we can hit, at least hit him with shock. Oh, he's immune.
Lightning to Purge effects. Great. serious i have to walk all the way back is there not a surely there's a are you serious there's no ah is there no fast travel point son of bitch okay there has to be a fast travel point around there right like i just didn't go get it because i went directly there you can kind of tell who Melface was if you remember Mumkar's voice from the first two minutes of the game, but that's why Dumbass thought the entire game. See, I didn't remember Mumkar's voice. That was the thing. But yeah, no. It, I mean, it was becoming increasingly obvious the more Melface was like, Fuck you, Dunban! <laughs> and it was like, okay, why is this one one Mechon just really have a hate boner for, for Dunban specifically? It's like, oh, okay, that's why. Because he tried to freaking betray Dunban and succeeded at betraying him, but died because of his own folly. But doesn't blame it on himself because that's not what that's not what reasonable or unreasonable people do. They blame it on everyone else. <laughs> they blame their personal failings on everyone else except them because they're immature and can't accept reality. We love it. Strange. Large handcuffs. Didn't take Ryan long to name these. Big green rings made of monster fur. <laughs> handcuffs. <laughs> uh, okay. So, like, surely there must be, like, at least something that's fast travel -y. I think the main issue with, like, figuring out what could potentially be fast travel points and what could put what like isn't it's like uh you're looking for a big like noticeable landmark but then it's like oh but sometimes the landmark is just a large expanse of flat and that could be a landmark in its own way it's like oh great no easy tell yeah uh -huh. black ash Black ash. I was, about, I was about to say, isn't all ash black? And I was like, no, no, ash is usually like gray. So I guess I guess it makes a little bit more sense as to uh, why it might be. Okay, bitch, are you not sound activated? Like why? Okay. You guys not be continuously immune to break, please? Be really cool. Uh, shout out to the last point two of my brother wild map for you two. <laughs> Stupid average on the northeast map. <laughs> nice. So you so you finished uh, Breath of the Wild map. That's pretty that's insane, man. Like, that is that's so much. That's so much map. You. My vision. Good. Okay, we got one of them. Yeah, this I really bird. Rains of Pores. 100% of that game forever ago. Ah, okay. okay. You know what? Epic. We're not. We're not doing this. I don't. I don't. I don't feel like having to run all the way back here again because of some fucking snow crabs. They can did me dirty. Oh no, Ryan's gonna get hurt by the 666 wing smite. Cool. 
But cool. Got my VATV up and running. It's not portable, but huh? hey, yeah. Nice. Yeah, see, I remember I thought about getting a Vita TV a while ago, back when I started um, started doing uh, like streaming in, in YouTube and all that fun stuff when I got my Elgato. But I was like, eh, there aren't, there aren't too many Vita games that I would want to stream, which is why I didn't, uh, I ultimately didn't uh, go for it. That looks, that has to be a thing, right? Like, come on, look at that thing. It has to be a fast travel point, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Um, yeah, honestly, like, because I, I debated doing it because I wanted to, I think, I think, I think it was specific because I wanted to stream, yeah, there we go, Disgaea, um, four? Um, but now that's on PC, so it's like no issue. The only one that I would have to use that for would be Disgaea three. Because that's the only one that hasn't been ported to any new systems. Uh, I like the Vita, just wasn't... Exactly. No, I mean... Wasn't support enough in general. But, I mean, there were a lot... Of, there are a lot of JRPGs on the Vita. Which is great. <laughs> um, so, I mean, like, I, I was pleased with what I got out of it. Um, but I can see why, like, the general public was like, Yeah, there wasn't a lot there for everyone else. <laughs> it was, do you like JRPGs? Yeah, you're good. <laughs> Are you kind of whatever to JRPGs? Oh, sorry. Tried to clean my power button on it, but it still keeps turning on and off by itself. Oof. That sucks. Yeah, because you got, what, through uh, eBay or whatever? JRPGs and Vision all Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, okay. Let's go into the party. Swapping out Melia for Sharla. For the heels, because that seems to kind of be the general... Uh, general consensus of any boss fight, it is... It is have heal. Oh, was that it? We didn't have... Oh, invincible... Get off me! I'll play some more Shaggy Gun and try to be able to it. I mean, you're probably going to. Because it's going to be a little bit before I, uh. I, uh, get, get, get back to it. I feel like I can probably do, like. Just depend. What, what's the, um. You look it up for me. How, the how long to beat. What's the how long to beat for Strikers versus Royal? I mean, like, like Royal. I had to stream for quite a while to f to before I finished it. Like, I presume Strikers is a lot shorter. About forty hours. Yeah, that's not that's not too bad. So, like, chances are it'll be like a next year thing where it's like, oh yeah, I'll probably do Strikers and. Um, what is it, Tactica or whatever it's called? Um, fucking tits, dude. Why is this guy... He's level 48. Uh, P5R is about 100, yeah. Tactica, yeah. So I'll probably do both Strikers and Tactica. Enemies too strong? Yes, enemies are too strong, but I have also haven't really been fighting. Fucking... Enemies that I should be fighting because I have I yeah, I've just been kind of beelining it, but me not having everything all set. There we go. See it? She's not healing. I mean, she's healing. It's just that the fucking mum car does insane amounts of 
damage. Because he's a bitch. Get the aggro, bro. Come on, man. Please. Delaying beam. That doesn't sound very nice. But luckily the second one should be a lot easier, given that there's not going to be two sources of damage. How is that a backslash, Emily? I'm looking at his hip. Let's do that. Break. Missed. Great. Good job, bro. <laughs> Good job, man. Love it. Love it when you miss in the, uh, in the chain attack. Fucking fantastic. Really feeling it. Feeling it so very much. Hey, Ryan, you want to take the aggro off, man? Please? I feel like I need, like, aggro gems on him. Fuckers keep spinning at the worst time. Okay, dude. Fucking Nebula joined it? God damn it, these fucking fights. One thing, I feel like they could have made it a little bit better by being like, hey, how long has the fight gone on? And then after a certain amount of time, just make it so... A fight, like, new enemies can't join. It's like, oh, crap, now there's a nebula in here. Uh, or when she can attack, is a real guy? Yeah. Come on. Hit, you, you bro. Bro. Hits. All because he missed that one hit. If he just fucking had slightly better accuracy, then he wouldn't have missed that one key attack and he wouldn't have gotten KO. But hey, we took out the big fucking monkey. Now we can work on the nebula. However, we now do not have very much ether attack hit. Okay. Having. I'm not 100% guy, but if you get too far away from the fight area, initial area, it cancels. That means I've been going for a long time. Ah, okay. Oh, my. Those are so annoying, man. <laughs> Any like enemies that are just like just moving, forcing you to move instead of just kind of like staying stationary so you can walk around. Yeah, because that doesn't like 
feel like in Xeno 3 that doesn't really happen. Like, this doesn't happen very much, where it's like there's nothing... Like, an enemy, unless, it, unless it's spinning or moving to get to the new aggro source, it doesn't move. Uh, it's very useful. Although, I guess they probably did that because it would be like six characters that you're swapping between. It would be pretty difficult to figure that out. Uh, uh, I hate that I was actually doing kill with kill farming. I've been at that game for months more. Shout out to the Aaron every time we had a smash grind. Smash grind. Smash that grind button. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Mac, wait. Did I... Interesting. So did I not have this skill for her and then she learned it and immediately got up? I guess not. A devastating kick. Physical close combat attack. After spear break forces topple. Interesting. Interesting. Not gonna upgrade it, but I mean it's interesting. Um yeah, kill this. Focusing on everything else. Yo blast. I could do heal around. Let's do that. Melia kick! Dude, I'm a I'm a common rider. It's Melia, the Blue Ranger. <laughs> um, okay, so... Might want to boost fucking... Light Heal, honestly. For Shulk. A little bit faster, a little bit more HP. <laughs> I can... I seem to be having issues staying alive. Soaring Tempest, what's going on here? Spin up into the air, striking foes all around with shockwaves. Multiple hits, eh? You feel talent gauge? That's not bad. That's not bad. More AoE. Well, that I know that this fight is impossible unless you use Dunban, specifically. Okay, everyone's 44. Granted, they had a common uh, rider, Power Ranger. He took their swords. <laughs> That's great. That's great. As he should. Bam! Hit you in the ass. Strengthening will. Don't strengthen your will. Don't add clauses to make it so your children don't have to pay taxes. Get it? Strengthen will. Because the, the will, the legal document, uh, goes into effect once a person dies. Like, one of the most quote-unquote annoying things for people whose family member dies that they have to pay the death tax on all their stuff. Like, the government will just put a lien on, like, houses, because you have to pay a tax on it. It's like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> the fun things that you learn in banking. <laughs> Bitch. You... Okay. Come on. Toppled. Oh, up. Up. coin. You guys have been serious. Nope. Run away. Not dealing with you. Can I just get a fight that is just the fight instead of a fight plus eight, fu uh, eight other fights, please? Like, I mean, I guess when you think about it, it kind of makes it serious, where it's like, okay, a fight's making sound, and like that that attract wildlife, being like, what's going on over there? But at the same time, you're just like, come on, man. I just wanted to kill one donkey. Why the fuck is the great stallion of the plains, or bothos, coming at me? And after I started Smash Gun, the worst thing was just having to map out the levels I needed to be. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because, like, can't you, like, once you beat the game, aren't you able to, like, artificially adjust, like, down the, uh, uh, the character's levels? Which I wish you could just do in base Xenothroy. Also, did you know this area has three of the five zero? I mean, it is a big area. Shouldn't be too surprising. 
Okay, let's try it again. Okay, you guys can't do anything until you're enchanted. Okay, chant. That's gonna be active for like two minutes. How does that aggro? Okay, man. Okay, dude, Shulk, you need to get some accuracy, bro. Feels like I'm playing fucking CS2 for the first time. And it's like, oh yeah, we, we nerfed physical attacks and now everything misses. It's great. We love it. Uh, yeah, but it's sexy, you can't do it. Uh, um, okay, fucking. Here you go, re up that. Fucking topple that. You block the topple. Okay, good. Love it. Fantastic. Love it when you just block the fucking topple. I'm chain attacking you, bitch. Why, why are you getting these benefits? What makes you so cool? Fucking Chug, hit for once in your goddamn life, man. Fucking Chug has missed like every swing and yet he somehow is still gaining aggro on this bitch. Like I don't... There's a level of this that is incomprehensible. Thank you. Do these... <laughs> like, like, what the fuck? Am I just not, like, am I not supposed to be Shulk here? Because you need to enchant people so they can do the damage. Or am I, or am I somehow underleveled or something? Like, not using the right party? Do I need Dumban? Is that a thing? Do I need the Dunmeister? <laughs> Do I need the Dunban to make Mumkar Dun Sun? Um, I remember this might be. Yeah, it's. <laughs> I mean, you're also doing a lot of stuff, right? Like a lot of the quests and all that. So I mean, you're pre presumably a higher level than me. I have to. I have to think that that's what it is. Being casual after a while, I mean, it might get down to that. At least for the fucking boss fights, because I mean, like, this is, like, there's a certain level at which it's like, okay, you know what? What am I playing this for? Honestly, the story. Because as I've said, right? I just one of the main reasons why I want to play Xeno One is because I want to play Xeno Three. <laughs> well, not Xeno Three, but Xeno Three DLC with full context and. And, uh, and care. And also, why the fuck was that so much damage? Didn't turn on casual until I get. Ah, okay. Okay, where the fuck? Oh, I couldn't even kill one of these fucking cost Ares. Okay, you guys suck. <laughs> you guys are blocking Ryan from getting to Shulk. You suck so much ass. Like, let my guy through. Or Ryan, just fucking attack. Swing, you kill the guy and you can walk on by. What the fuck? The AI sucks so bad. Oh god, it's so much better in Xeno 3. Yeah, you know what, fuck it, casual mode. Yeah. Yeah, we do like you can talk, yeah, fuck it, yeah. Casual mode. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever! Ow, my knees. Be cool if casual mode also decreased the, um... Also decreased the amount of fall damage you get, so you could just do shit like that. He's like, I'm just gonna jump off this cliff because casual mode is on. I don't know. It's fine. It's not gonna take much damage. Okay. Uh, how weird to, yeah. Casual mode really is just straight casual mode, like, it's taking no damage. <laughs> uh, 
I mean, hey, at least, at least they market it correctly. It's like, hey, man, you just want to get through that story? Yup. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah. Uh. Even though the super bosses are threats. Wow, okay. So, so the super bosses are freaking no joke at all. But I mean, I guess if you're fighting super bosses, you're presumably not, like, casually doing the game, right? Hey, how's it going, man? Fucking fight me. I just heard Ryan say sword drive before he could even do fucking damage, which kind of infuriates me. Why? Okay, let's break you. Cool, and now let's topple you. Cool, that was fun. Two hit combo. Okay, then you do this. That's dazed. Nice. We like damage. I'm going to use a setup to even survive because I have the death spike. Ah, okay. Fun times. We love death spike. We're going to enchant again. Make sure that doesn't go away. Let's do it again. Break your ass. Topple them. I was hoping for it to go a little bit farther than that, but hey, whatever, I guess. I guess we do it. God do. Did not need a uh, shield, but hey, we take it. Okay. There's a name called Fall Defense. Ah, okay. Ricky has a move that builds up high gauge. Just spam that for almost. Ah, okay. Well, that would be nice. Bam. Bam. Ah, come on, give me a, give me another one. Here we go. Okay. Still in effect. 18.5. Love it. Oh, the cloaks which reduce detection range. Oh, heal up. You fought beside me. Why did you change sides? Why the back off? You're as blind as you were then. I wanted you dead for years. What's happening? Is the boy on his movie? I wanted to get to Monaco so I could be the new hero! Is that it? You've got a new hero That's face. That's the pure reason you killed all those innocent people! Rabbits are home! I love this body! <laughs> the power! <laughs> Yo! Are we to assume he's enchanted right now? By Shulk or I will strike you down and all that you have become, you wretched fool. The Manado will stop you, and then you will know the shame of all that you have done, traitor! Shut your mouth and come on! Oh. Albus nonplussed. That light. Oop, another all right, gold back on. What's going on here? Sphura was in a slightly goldish one, wasn't she? It's not like the other Mechon. You are right, heir to the Monado. This is the strongest Mechon ever built. Controlled by me, Egil, Egg. leader of Mechonis, an agent of Maynes. Leader Maynes. of Mechonis. Wait, wasn't she so called Lady Maynes? I am 
am he. We fight to free the world from the tyranny of the Bionis. Huh? Why? Tyranny of the Bionis. Why do you have bombs and machines? What do you want from us? Why make us fight for you? Your questions do not concern me. Well, I tell you, I must return with though, this one. Fiora! Get your hands off her! Fiora! Uh, actually, his hand isn't on If you here. want her, come and get here. her. You are more than welcome on the Come and visit any time, Dunban! This called Yaldaba. We're coming. <laughs> Love it. And we won't give up. JRPG is lovely Cthulhu. We love the Yaldabaoth. Find us, Monado, sword of the Bionis. We will meet you on the battlefield. Fiora, we will find you. And Fiora! Where's that speed when we're playing in gameplay? How many speed gems does he have on there? He's got four speed gem sixes up. Deja vu. Okay. Fiora. Shulk. <laughs> Shulk, I'm here to console you. Would you like to smooch? Jeez. Get it together, Shulk. <sighs> we ain't got time to be hanging around here. I don't know what's happened to her, but that was Fiora. No doubt about it. You know what that means? She ain't dead. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> That's a starting point, right? We gotta get her back. Get her back. Right. We've come too far to give up now. Then we'll go to Mekonis and find Fiora. Just beyond there lies Sword Valley. Yeah, you gotta give it to Ryan. Just being like, hey man, hey man. <laughs> get out of your head, get out of your head. You're overthinking it, you're overthinking it. Let's go. Let's... Stop thinking about all the things. Just think about the one thing. The one important thing, all right? All right, come on. <laughs> Shulk, stop it, stop it. <laughs> think about the one thing. <laughs> The Mekon flew in the direction of Galahad Fortress. Fiora may be there. Will you pursue, Shulk? Of course. Yes. We will get Fiora back. We will get the girl that piloted a robot to fire a cannon point blank into a robot's face back. Because you know what? Frankly, pretty bold move. <laughs> Pretty bold move, though. You know what? We can appreciate. We want that kind of spunk back. Bionis's wrist. Interesting that they don't specify left or right wrist. Just wrist. Bionis's thumb. Thumbs up. Actually... Something. Sword Valley, okay. Oh my god, meaty carry, collect meaty. Immediately. Okay, cool. Wanna do that? Uh. Oh, what the Look. He's all that big sword? Oh, if he's, then ouchie ouch. <laughs> ouchie ouch. See, I thought that was the head of the Bionis, but I guess not. That is that just like the hilt of the sword or something? Or trying to... The sword of the Mekonis. The entire valley below. The whole thing is its sword. Something seems... unnatural. What do you mean? Look, that flowing light, from the way it glows, it has to be ether, but it looks like it's being drawn in by something. By the fortress. It should just be up ahead. 
father once told me that the Maconis absorbs the ether of the Bionis and uses it for sustenance. Hmm. Interesting. So the Maconis feeds off ether? Then undoubtedly the ether serves as the Mekon's energy source as well. So this area had me delayed for a bit. Okay. Is it just a really big area or uh, something else? Ugh. <sighs> Do, 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 do. Yeah, might stop soon because I haven't had dinner because I've been this entire week I've been snacking. There've been buffet for me, breakfast and lunch, so and like snack throughout the class because they would have just like snacks available. So it's like I haven't been like hungry, but like today I didn't really eat all that much. I said didn't eat that much, ate plenty, but it's been a while since I've eaten. There's an item here that is rather rare in this area. It becomes locked later, so I had to go to where it spawns and then do a full close of the game. Ugh. Oh, that sucks. Okay, skill tree. Good, we got that, which is nice. Now over there. You don't have any circle skills. Yay! You don't have any of these skills. Yay! Healing arts restore more HP. How do you not have that? I should probably get that for you. I'm being frank. Pretty good. Increased chance attack damage. We'll get that first. Well, well. Hmm. Actually, let's get this. <laughs> let's get this first. That's just a fine. It's a fine passive increase. Sword Valley. It's pretty cool. I like that. There's two extra sketches by completing every quest in a certain area. Yeah, and I'm not getting those. <laughs> like that's ridiculous. So Even from this distance. That's what she said. Ha <laughs> ha. Fortress must be enormous. I wish. <laughs> Galahad Fortress, the frontline base of the Mechon. The Mechon that attacked by Honest must all come from here. Not really. Well, I mean, I mean that that sense, but it's like we've seen them fly. Like, pretty far, pretty fast. Like, they could come from anywhere on the Makanas. Then, <laughs> reasonably, right? There's a high probability that he's there. The golden Mekon that took Fiora. The Gekon. We're about to enter the Mekon stronghold. If there's anyone who wants to turn back now. Shulk, friend should no split up. No leave friend behind. Ricky's scared, but Ricky won't go too. Ricky. <laughs> Thanks, bro. He's right. Okay, let's go. Your weapon is more intimidating than you are, Ricky. Yes. Uh, okay. Ah, damn it, come on. Let me jump over this small wooden fence. You bastard. Yeah, ha, ha, running down this slope. It's a slope. What's that? A rock. A supply convoy. Okay. It would be most unwise to proceed without restocking our supplies. You arranged this for us. Hey, it's... Yo, what's up, man? How's it going, dude? Hey there. Looks like you lot have been having fun without me. Heard you took care of that faced Mekon. What are kind. you doing here? I got wind of some allied force coming together a few days back. I stepped up as the representative of the Homs. Then a little birdie told me you lot were heading for Galahad Fortress. So I thought I'd drop by and say hello. I've got a whole stack of new equipment. Want some? Kinda. Yeah! I was hoping for some new stuff. Hold it, Ryan. You know it's gonna cost you. You cheap old man. We're trying to save the world by killing the Macon. Thanks for charging us money, you asshole. Earth Ether Gear. Okay, shop, buy, healing gift, 
deny that. Thunder. Yeah. So Tempest. Reflection. I don't even think I have reflection. Anchor Chain. Lariat. Mind Blast. It's a lot of money. Jeez. Um, anti Mechon Rod. Worse. 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 Oh wait, but okay, that's what it is. It's weapon it's it's worse than what I have, but it probably doesn't need to be enchanted. Right? Is that is that the Is that it? <sighs> Fuck. Uh, I mean if I plan to use shell the entire time, it doesn't really matter. So I just learned that the original guy because a four inch had a song for it. What the hell? That's surprising. Um, Brave Cat. Let me share a line. <laughs> Please do. Because I have a feeling that is going to be very funny. Let's damage you. 20% chance of recovering 70 HP when it's Yeah, that's not. It's not fantastic. Me so horny cause you so nasty. If you smile for me, I get a Kono classic. <laughs> I get a What the fuck? Why? 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 It's so stupid. It's so stupid. But yeah, speaking of like, hey, look at these shoes, they just are better. It's like, oh yeah, look at these. <laughs> yeah, considering this is the game that has sex on its cover four times. Oh god. It's freaking hilarious, man. It's so fucking funny. Um, okay, let's sell. Cool. Get my money store back okay finish preparations for the earth crystal let's go to the arts there healing gift mind blast tempest thunder the tempest thunder fucking words um could do light heal again actually party swap mail yeah Question, does Melia, is Melia able to do damage to Mechon if she's using her cast instead of her weapon? Because that could be... That might be potentially useful. Um, you're so close to Warsling being maxed and Sword Drive a bit farther away. Mage... What is that? Discourage defense, prioritize attack... Back time. Yeah. Magnum charge. 2.7. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Summon wind. Yeah, do that. Hmm. Yeah, okay. System menu. Save. Good. Okay. This is where we're going to call it a night. Been going for just over three hours, which is a little bit longer than the past couple streams. As I said, I, my training is done for uh, the week, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. So, uh, yeah. Tomorrow, I will be back with some more Xenoblade Chronicles 1, and it should be a extra long stream because it will be on Saturday. So I hope you all have a very nice night. Thank you, Fontano, Dex, 50 Mira, Sleeper, um, and everyone else for dropping by. Uh, BT as well. I uh, hope you all have a nice night and will join me next time. Bye.